Hey guys, this is Alex, and welcome back to the KEH Photo Blog. And it's 2014, so I want you guys Happy New Year. And let's dive right in. In this tutorial, I want to give you guys a quick introduction to some tips and tricks that I use all the time in Adobe Bridge and Camera Raw. Let's say you have a group of images you downloaded from your camera, and you're not particularly excited about one character of the exposure so let's say these images I, I think the black could be stronger in these images so what do I what do I do, do I open them each one in Photoshop can I make a group change you can so let me show you how to do that what you do is you select the images by holding down control and then when you get a selection that you want you right click and go open in camera raw and now that we're in camera raw we can make all of our exposure changes over here on the right and you're going to see all the images on the left and what we can do is make all the changes on one image so let's say i want more black i feel like this black could be a little stronger so i'm just going to bring this down okay i think that looks pretty good what i can do now is holding down control i can select the other images i want to apply to okay and then i can just click synchronize and what will happen is I'll get a dialog box and it's going to ask me which settings I want to synchronize. And generally all these ones are already ticked off. So and these are the major elements that you can change. So just go ahead and select OK. And you'll see that all these images are updating. But let's say after you make all the synchronization, all the images selected, I can also bring this dial up. And you'll see that all the images are being updated simultaneously. So let's just get that to where we're happy. That looks good. And let's go and even put a little vignette on all these images. So just go to FX and select Post Crop Vignette. And let's turn that, let's bring that down. Okay. Now we can review all of our images. So obviously some of them are going to be what we want and we can go and and tweak these individually so let's say on this one I'm not really happy with the vignette I think it takes away from the sharpness of the image you can say okay same here and maybe there's just the vignette is nice but it's just too much okay and on this one I want to reverse vignette something like that and I'm going to even make this one black and white. So once everything is cool, just go ahead and click done. Okay, and it'll bring us back to bridge. And we'll see that all of our images have been updated. And let's say I want for these three images right here to have this uh, black and white ghosty frost type of image. Let's go ahead and right click on this. And then let's go into develop settings. And let's select copy settings. Okay. And let's go back to these. Let's right click these three. And let's right click this. And let's go ahead and paste settings. And we're going to get that same dialog box that we got in Camera Raw. And you're going to see the same settings. And let's just go ahead and say OK. And we can see all those images got that nice, that nice look. So if you're trying to build a story of the images, maybe you put this one now. I can put this one up here or something. I can mix it into my, my edit, however I want to do that. So this is a great tip you can use when you're trying to get the images to flow together in a story or you want to make changes. Just go ahead and work on a big group and you can move through all those images rel relatively quickly. Also, let's say you make some changes and you, you're not happy with them. You want to go back to the original settings. You can just right click it and then you can say camera raw defaults and it'll bring all your images back and make sure you come back next week for the next keh photo blog